Hello friends and welcome to the Saitama Stacker channel. My name is Dean. If you are watching my videos for the first time, please know I only make them for entertainment, education, and for community building around the Saitama token. So please do your own research before investing. I've got pulled up here the 24 hour chart and you see here right about mid afternoon, a nice drop in the uh, price of Saitama quite suddenly. Well, that drop happens to coincide with a AMA that was done by the Saitama team today, the development team. And unfortunately, they weren't bringing us good news. Now, they weren't bringing us horrible news, but they were bringing us news of more delays and yet another issue that came up that they need to address to launch the wallet fully. And we'll talk about what that issue was here in just a minute. But it looks like since that time, we had a bit of a buyback, then another bit of a sell-off, and currently we're in a bit of a recovery again off those two sell-offs, currently right around 7024, 7025 range. So let's just look at the fundamentals for Saitama, and then uh, we'll jump back into that video, and also a very, very interesting tweet that just happened a few hours ago. So... The current number of wallets for Saitama, 326,877. That is an increase of 504 from yesterday. Our market cap slipped about 90 million to 1 billion, 65 million. That dropped our rank to 91st among all cryptocurrencies, according to our market cap and CoinGecko's ranking system. Again, the price, 7024. Our volume was 19,242,000. The burn has ticked up to 56.26% total supply burned. Uh, today, we burned 5.6 trillion tokens. Now, that level of burn, the current volume and price, would suggest it would take 172 days to burn 1% of the supply, uh, or about 2.12% annually. So we'll uh, keep an eye on this. Once we get Cytomask, I think we'll see that, you know, moving in a, a more accelerated direction. But for now, it is what it is. All right, let's talk about this AMA for just a minute. So currently on the screen here, and I will put a link to this AMA in the description of the video. If you haven't seen it yet, the whole AMA only lasts about 30 minutes. Now, my first observation from this, and this picture captures it a little bit, maybe it's a little grimmer than it, than it should be, but the, the overall mood, in my opinion, is one of just, you look at these gentlemen and they look exhausted, okay? I think it's getting harder and harder to come back to the community and have to say, we have to wait. You know, whether those uh, reasons are perfectly legitimate which a good portion of what they talked about in this AMA sounded like a legitimate reason to put a hold on it. But at the same token, you know, the community is still dealing with the launch is November 13th. Okay. Then we didn't launch. We were waiting on a CERTIC audit that, that was somewhat delayed. And then we we're thinking, okay, maybe the CERTIC audit's going to be done late December. Then we'll launch because the swap we thought was ready. It didn't quite launch then. They gave us the launch date of the 8th of January. We had to push that deadline back and then push the deadline back. And today, yet again, we're pushing back the deadline. Okay, so it's it is it's frustrating. I know it's frustrating for them, quite frankly, too. I'm not trying to be critical of the development team. Uh, the job is is a big job. I don't know if you could say they underestimated the task, but... They're running into a lot of problems that I don't think they were expecting to run into. So it was a tough AMA for them, but they're facing the music and they're trying to be transparent and be honest with us. So um, what they talked about in this AMA is a type of a bot transaction called front running. And from what I understand, uh, what this is, is I'm going to transact. I'm an investor and I'm going to place a sell. And then what will happen is a bot will see that this transaction's coming in. 
it will use an accelerated gas fee to get in front of my transaction and front run it. So it makes its cell first, then the other cell comes through, and then the bot is able to buy back again after this downward price pressure and just capture a tiny bit of Ethereum or whatever that may be. But the person who's losing the money in the deal is this person who's getting front run by the bot. So yes, you know, in my opinion, this is not the worst thing that could happen. While I think this is highly unpleasant and it's getting harder and harder uh, for the community to stomach, even though we can see progress is being made, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. The worst thing that could happen is you go ahead and launch this and we all have a horrible experience with it. And quite frankly, I think that could potentially be the end of the project. So pulling back on it again, trying to make sure everything's secure, trying to make sure the software is totally flawless before you put our money on that platform and potentially at risk, the right thing to do is to pump the brakes, okay? It's painful, but what what other option do you have? You don't move forward with the product if it's not ready. And so that's that's where we're at with this one. All right, now for a bit of good news, interesting news. And I'm, I'm not saying this was bad news. It is just disappointing a little bit. Okay, so on Twitter, in Russell's Twitter feed here, uh, two hours ago, and I'm filming this pretty close to midnight um, mountain time. So about two o'clock in the morning for you East Coasters. But about three hours ago now, uh, David Gochstein, Gochstein, I can't remember exactly how he pronounces that, but he drops a tweet that says, if you want me to do an uh, AMA with at Inu Saitama COO tomorrow, give me a hell yeah. Now, I haven't looked at the comments, but I'm guessing that's 297 hell yes. Okay, the reason being is that David Gokstein, 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 I think it's Gokstein, uh, he is a pretty big deal in the crypto community. He has almost twice as many followers on Twitter as Saitama has wallet holders. So yes, that would be interesting to see Russell do an AMA with this gentleman, and maybe that'd give us a little boost of good news. Um, we could use it right now, quite frankly. So, but I mean, what are our options here, guys? We can decide one of two things. We can drop the project and walk away, or we can exercise some patience. I think the project is still worthy. I think Cytomask is revolutionary. It's just proving to be a bigger project than, than maybe what they anticipated. Uh, I can show you that in Dex Tools hot ether pairs, we're still at the top of that leaderboard, kind of popping back and forth with some of these other tokens into second place. Uh, but there we are, ether hot pairs number one. So we're still right out there in front of everybody. We just have got to get this thing right get it out, and then we just start moving forward. You have to remember too, Cytomask is not the ultimate goal of the development team. Cytomask is the foundation of what they're building. So there's so many more big things, good things to come down the road, but at, at this moment, we need the foundation to be right. So keep working on it, guys. Let's get this out and, uh, and, Turn this frown upside down, as I've said before. Okay, last thing I will show you is just my reflections for the last 24 hours. Uh, since yesterday, I've received 56 million, almost 57 million. We'll just round up. 57 million free Saitama tokens. That brings my total to just under 4 billion. Definitely will be 4 billion tomorrow. And that is since November 21st when I started tracking this. Uh, so... Not too bad, and of course, if we can get the price going up in a positive direction, in a positive direction, just my uh, reflections alone could represent a larger uh, monetary value than my initial investment in Saitama back in August. So, fingers crossed here for everybody, guys. I hope you're having an amazing day. Keep your chins up. Check back with me soon. We'll watch our Saitama stacks grow together.